This video will be an introduction to the metric system. So the inchworm says to the foot, did you ever think of converting to the metric system? Get it? Inchworm and foot. We're going to look at the SI base units. The SI system, I believe it stands for the International System of Units. Uh, it's, it's very similar to the metric system. There are a few differences, but you can kind of think of them um, as the same if you'd like. So we have a certain way of measuring distance, mass, temperature, time, and amount. Distance is measured in meters. Mass is measured in kilograms. Temperature in Kelvin. Time in seconds. And amount in a unit called the mole. Now, um, we're not going to do a whole lot with this right now, but um, later on in the year, we'll be using this stuff all the time. So right now, just kind of know that um, distance is measured in meters. Mass will be measured in grams or kilograms. Okay, let's take a look at the prefixes. You're probably familiar with these already. These are the base units. This is meters, grams, and liters. Meters, of course, measures distance. Grams measures mass. And liters measures volume, just like a two liter bottle of pop or something like that. It measures how much in volume. Now you know that the metric system is based on powers of 10. So one-tenth the size of a base unit is something um, with, with called a deci. And then smaller than that is centi, and then milli, and then even smaller than milli, something called micro, and then smaller than that is nano. And then going larger than the base unit, we have deca, hecto, kilo, mega, and giga. So once again, that's deci, centi, milli, micro, and nano. Deca, hecto, kilo, mega, and giga. Notice the difference between deci and deca is a capital D. Some people use lowercase da, but I prefer this to make the distinction easier. So our base unit, we'll say, um, has a value of 10 to the 0 or 1. So think about all these as measuring a unit of 1. You know that deci is a tenth, centi is a hundredth, and milli, of course, means a thousandth. So each time we're sliding the decimal place over 1. So remember, all of these here are smaller than the base unit, and all of these here are larger than the base unit. How small is micro, do you know? Well, now it begins to jump by a factor of 3, or I guess it's a factor of a thousand, rather. Um, so this is actually a millionth. So what do you think nano would be? Yeah, nano is a billionth. Uh, conversely, on the other side, deca is 10 times bigger than the base unit. Hecto is 100 times, and kilo is 1,000 times. And now, once again, we're going to jump by a factor of 1,000. So mega means a million, and giga means a billion. There are, of course, prefixes to describe uh, measurements larger than giga and measurements smaller than nano, but we won't be using um, too many of them in, in this course.